Thanks, Phil. I'm honored to introduce this powerful program. Our mission in the Worldwide Forgiveness Alliance has been to bring the healing spirit of forgiveness worldwide. We now know how important forgiveness is to our health, our survival, to decrease stress, to increase confidence and happiness, to improve our business and one-on-one -on -one relationships. In fact, forgiveness has a powerful positive impact on everything that it touches. For instance, did you know that 18 veterans a day commit suicide in America? They suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome and they cannot forgive themselves despite all that has been done to them. The Alliance aligned with Swords to Plowshares and Dr. Fred Luskin recently to help bring forgiveness healing to them. Our work is therefore really cut out for us. Can we stop war altogether? Leo Tolstoy said, quote, let us forgive each other for only then can we live in peace. So the real question is, how can we, all of us, inspire a worldwide forgiveness movement? The Alliance has hosted the International Forgiveness Day since 1996. We are now in 10 countries and 20 cities. Past feature presenters include Marianne Williamson, wrote the book Return to Love, and Congressman John Lewis, freedom writer, going in with Martin Luther King, was beaten and made up with his perpetrator. And we always honor international forgiveness heroes like Archbishop Desmond Tutu and Nelson Mandela. They developed the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in South Africa, which saved millions of lives. We also are now working with Congressman John Lewis and Ambassador Susan Rice to present Forgiveness Day legislation to Congress and the United Nations. Locally, we have programs for helping women heal from drug and alcohol abuse. We certainly respect the work Master Charles Cannon is now doing in this area of forgiveness. His story, told in Forgiving the Unforgivable, is amazing and inspiring. We look forward to collaborating with him to expand the forgiveness movement. His book will help immensely. It is a how-to book of depth and simplicity. Even though the world is full of terrorism, it is also full of heroic examples like his, which occurred in Mumbai and many more which we are discovering every day. I would like to leave you with a couple of my favorite forgiveness stories. Archbishop Tutu said, without forgiveness there is no future. And Dr. Jampolsky said, forgiveness is the greatest healer of them all. I'm 85 years of age and we have been working on forgiveness for over 35 years. It's wonderful to welcome Master Charles and his work into our movement. And I look forward to working together in our next International Forgiveness Day, which is Sunday, August 5th, 2012, and to finding other ways to collaborate and grow this forgiveness social network together. Yes, it is so important. Thanks for this amazing opportunity. Over to you, Phil.